Oh, so we are going to see if yeah, he can do it. There, there was no way Josh was going Falcon. No, I was thinking maybe. Oh, you thought it was Kiro? Kiro. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember it was a long time ago. It hit Sun 3, Kiro went Falcon and 5 socked him. Yeah. But he had lost, I think, one of the Pika. Yeah, he lost the Pika Ditto and went Falcon and 5 socked him. Game two. Up oh, smash. That's... Oh, he got the turnaround, but the combo went the other way. Man, I wouldn't be super surprised to see Josh win this Pika Ditto. Wow, and yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. Yeah, um, he did the get up attack and yeah, he missed. The nair, no, the nair beat it out. It um. So what happened was the get up attack. It was too early. So nair came in like right, like okay. right after. That invincibility had worn off. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and that would have been huge for Bark. That's another thing that uh, needs wow. work in Josh's game are those combos. Right. He doesn't like he can he can do them when they're like right there, um, but having to like make slight adjustments or anything like that, it, he just doesn't really have that yet. Because uh, like like us, he doesn't he doesn't go in training mode and practice combos. Right. He's way ahead right now. I mean, yeah. he just looks to be have the neutral down. Oh, and that roll is really smart. He did some nice zip zaps too. It looks like he worked on his zip zaps. That's for sure. Yeah, he definitely, he definitely has those down. No, yeah, like, nothing crazy, but he's he's good at those. Yeah. I mean, he, he the ledge canceled the top flat and then was able to escape pressure. Yeah. I, I kind of thought if Kiro and Pika, it wouldn't go too well for him. Just because he's not back to form. But yeah, Bark is all over him. Yeah. Kiro was trying to make up his mind. What should I do? Yeah. I could up smash. I could drag. I could throw. Oh, whoa. And I think your brother, like, pretty much framed perfect on that up the escape because that nair looked like it was yeah. out there right at the end of that. Uh, that was timed attack. as well as you can time it. Yeah. Kiro with a nice escape there. And, you know, Josh wanted that. Uh, the jab on Kiro extended the hurt box, and Josh was able to get a grab off of it. Smart to fall in with that uh, forward air. I love really single hit forward air as like a combo starter. Yeah, forward air is just uh, like under respected move with Pikachu. And you wow. like fast fall single hit forward air into up smash. It's a good one. Kiro not out of this by any means, but got a long. Nah, he's only coming. only down by stock. Yeah, he's making some adjustments here for sure. Oh, and there's that. Up. Yeah. And that gave him a chance to continue that combo. And only taking 10% uh, after we said it, we mentioned it. He is right back in it. Yeah. And Kiro and Bark both just very wise on those up tilts near the end of the edge of the stage to know. Ooh. Um, that they don't need a, that weak nair. You know, once you start incorporating weak nair to back air in your game, it's also, you know, you also have to have the precision to know when to just back air, you know? Mm -hmm. That, yeah. that down air just barely clipped Josh's head. And then, yeah, the Kiro getting the reverse hit the, on that back air. Yeah, and I don't know why he went for that, just that back air, because he pivot up tilts to cover the tech, and then instead of going for a combo, he just goes for a single back air there. Uh, he could have potentially ended the, the first game and he went for a combo there. Hero guessed right after that and tech, tech to the right. Uh, Bark was so ready to get cover yeah. to the left or in place. Oh, and Bark drops from the ledge too early after he had such, just got Such a bad habit that a lot of Pikachu players have is as soon as they grab ledge, they immediately jump off. Because it's so quick. Yeah. And like you can really do damage to people with it. But right. I think it's I think it's a habit people pick up to just, they do it every time. Exactly. And, and I don't even know if he He definitely did that, right? No, he definitely did okay. that because he had caught the ledge. Um he just so beat fast. the forward smash there. It happened very quickly. But yeah, he dropped off immediately. And a lot of Pikachu's will hold for a second and still drop off too early with an uh Pika F smash, right? But uh, no, it's like you said, a lot of players will know that they're getting that uh you know that perfect uh, ledge grab and then hop immediately ledge hop immediately um it's like when they you know pika players know that they're going to get the edge cancel and throw out a move immediately 
It's just, uh, and it goes back to being a fast player in general when you start incorporating that speed. It's knowing how to change up the rhythm, right? Yeah, just because you're super fast doesn't mean you should drive at strictly 100 miles an hour all the time. You know, you've got to fool your opponent by, you know, throwing a, a change up once in a while. So, Clark, after a really strong start uh, in game one, ends up not being able to clutch it out, and uh, Kiro takes it. That was a huge comeback by Kiro. Down two stocks, just looked a little bit lost, just not, you know, not connecting things, running into things. He really turned it around. Yeah, just taking back airs to the face while he's recovering. Just Clark had his number in the beginning there, and. Was that a was that a nice jab grab? Uh, that was an average. 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 Now Josh taking the back here to the face. Jab grabs just aren't as nice as they used to be. <laughs> People just don't press A and R like they used to. No. Josh wants to catch Kiro with one of those. Yeah. Those have a big upside to them. Yeah, and he, he kind of knew he didn't have anything else after that second up air. What did he? I must have. He must have landed something back air there. Oh. Mark doing a good job of staying away during Kiro's invincibility. Oh, and Kiro's ready for Bark to fall in. Just turns around and puts that up tilt out. That's really Kiro's bread and butter, is getting those up tilts into combos. Yeah, they He's, really are. Like, I feel like he builds a lot of his game around it. Yeah, no one else really, I think, works that pivot up tilt into their neutral quite like he, he has for that. Yeah, it's, you know, Josh, he always goes for that when he thinks he, like, he can't miss it. But, yeah, and maybe there's like, some better options. Yeah. I mean, anything right at that ledge there, Kiro can DI back onto the stage to get like the reverse DI. It's like F smash or anything. And that's wise to follow up that second aerial. Go? No, didn't go over it this time. But even the up smash is like, Kiro, Kiro is such good DI that you can't even up smash him at the ledge because he'll get that DI also. Yeah. But at that high percent, it didn't matter. That would have been great. The DI, that angle, had he been a little lower, um, he would have been kind of safe. And just like that, a grab and neutral, and Kiro make it basically even. Oh, that nice running flat drop to uh, Fair really covered a lot of distance horizontally. 39, 39, two stocks. Thud. Ooh. Kiro fast falls into the ledge. Those are some matrix moves right there. Yeah. You know, that was another situation where Josh uses that rising nair and doesn't get hit with that getup attack. Kind of interesting. I don't know. If, wow. Yeah, and it's not even like they traded, they just missed. Yeah. Yeah, wisely pushes him back toward the plat. That's some very good, both these players have very good timing on that. A lot of players will get caught if you get caught with that aerial uh, or the jab grab onto the shield. Mm -hmm. Now, a, a late aerial, you're, you can't get out of that jab grab. No. But you can get that down air out a little early and usually land and immediately jab grab All onto right, so that All right, so two shield. to one again. Uh, Josh has a little bit more percent than he did last time. Yep, there it was there, and uh, Josh again with a very good, uh, very well-timed FB. Let's see if he can clutch this one out. Oh. Dang. Kiro was hoping Josh was going to land on the top line. He went right over it. Yeah. Oh, um, both players have the F air. They both went for the grab, but Josh is miss or the extended hurt box let Kiro grab him from what seemed like an impossible distance. Yeah, a good roll from Josh to get out of trouble. No up tilt, up air. Knew something was coming. Oh, up smash. two up no, airs. Pivot up tilt. Oh my god, two up airs and the pivot. Two sh a short hop, double up air. 
pivot, uh, pivots back and is able to get that up tilt. And Hero with another huge comeback. Yeah, that was, uh, well, <laughs> the stock count wasn't huge. Yeah, Josh, the context. Josh really had an opportunity there. Um, take that one Kiro. And for a split second you uh your voice came back i know that excitement the yeah, adrenaline yeah, broke everything i know i wor <laughs> i got worried because you lowered me and i was like oh no now i'm gonna have to talk loud the whole time <laughs> you know what everyone can just turn up their speakers <laughs> <laughs> no but i can't hear i'm also deaf did you not know that oh no yeah I'm, I, I i have like some hearing you no know, i have this magic thing i can do uh, is that no? That's me. Can I, is that you? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's me. Okay. I like that. Yeah. See now you, you can hear. Look at that. Nice. Magic. The gathering. Actually, that might be a little too loud. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there actually there was a lot of magic the gathering here on Friday. Yeah. This this uh, <laughs> this venue is actually originally a Magic the Gathering venue. So it's a gathering for magic. It's a gathering. I like. I see what you did there. That's good, because if you didn't, I'd be concerned. <laughs> up smash. And Kiro DIing another up smash into the ledge. Yeah, and you know, if you're able to be all the way to the ledge, you can do some DI shenanigans off F smashes and up smashes. Yeah, you see, you'll see people on a shield break, like push someone all the way to the very edge. It's actually bad. Because then they can get the, uh, the DI off the ledge. Exactly. Maybe push him a little bit. But not all the way through. Yeah. The edge. Unless it's Jigglypuff and Jesus asleep. Yeah. And he just watch it. I think Josh is definitely capable of uh, bringing this back to like a five game set. Kiro doesn't opt for that pivot up tilt there. Just plays it safe with the grab. Well, I know Josh got 11 hours of sleep last night. So I think he's <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, and Kiro knew, you see him nodding his head, he knew that was uh, not a wise decision. But. Fires right back. Yep, that F air will secure a grab. And either way, like whoever wins this set, there's a good chance they're going to meet again. We still don't know who's waiting for them in Losers Finals. But. There's a good chance they'll they'll be back in grands together. Yeah. It just comes down to who has to win two sets and who only has to win one. And Bark is a very adaptive player to people's play styles, but I think the longer that these sets go, the more it's in Kira's advantage of sort of getting his mojo I, back. I totally agree. Um, Josh, I think he really needed to kind of put this away early. Yeah, like letting he... letting Kiro get his groove back. Yeah, he, he he might as well be Stella. Might as well, except he doesn't need two movies for it. Nope. <laughs> yeah, game one, man. That lead Josh had. Oh, here we go. Oh, some crazy di. How did he wind up there from an up tilt? <laughs> <laughs> Hori, fan Hori's. Filthy Hori's. That's why Hori's break so much. It's karma for all your crazy DI. <laughs> Don't worry, the hardest tech in the game where the Hori is turning around. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually impressed with how easily Kiro can do that. He like got a hit on shield and just turned around in place and got the grab. That's that's tough of the Hori. It's very tough, yeah. Big combo from Kiro and he'll hold the edge. That's really wise because he pushes him far away enough. Just knows he's got well, a hedgehog. This time, Kiro has the two to one lead. Jab grab didn't connect as Josh is too far away, but then he just ran in and got grabbed. Yeah, what if every character could jab grab? Yeah, right? Ooh, new Virgo Bros idea. <laughs> Give everyone a two frame jab, then everyone can jab grab. The Samus and, and uh, Link have two frame jabs. And, or Quick grabs in a uh, burgle? Uh, frame one. <laughs> the grabs are really good. All right, it is that Josh did bring it back to last stock, but this percent lead and then missing a dash attack. Hero just comes with an up smash thunder. That dash attack killed it for Josh. Yeah, he yeah. definitely could have brought that game.